Well, good evening, everybody. How we doing tonight, huh? Come on, let me hear you again. How we doing tonight? We are so glad you're here tonight. It's going to be a wonderful program. Let's everybody stand to our feet tonight. Why don't you take about uh, 30 seconds and turn around and greet the people near you and give them a big hello. Welcome them to Happy Gospel. While we're doing that, I want to reach out to all of you that are watching us online tonight on Facebook and YouTube. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Happy Gospel Church here in Bradenton, Florida. You picked a great night to come because the His songs are our special musical guest. Anybody glad the His songs are with us tonight? Ah, oh, it's going to be fabulous this evening. Well, let's sing a little bit. You got your chops ready to go? All right, let's sing an old Hank Williams tune tonight. I wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light, I saw the light, I saw the light, no more darkness, no more night, now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside, praise the Lord, I saw the light. Just like a blind man, I wandered along. Worries and fears I claim for my own. 
than like the blind man that God gave back his sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Oh, I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Pastor Justin. Come on, everybody, put those hands together. It's Sunday night at Happy Gospel. Give me a little Hammond B3 on the organ. Ah, let's sing it now. I was a fool to wonder. Straight is the gate and narrows the way. Now I have traded the wrong for the right. Oh, I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. I saw the light, praise the Lord, I saw the light. Woo. Give the Lord a good hand right there, that's a good place. Somebody asked me, they said, do you really think old Hank saw the light? I hoped he did. I'm thankful I saw that light as an eight-year-old little boy. Anybody else here tonight, thankful you saw the light, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and it changed our life. Can you say amen? Well, let's pretend like we're at Bethel Baptist Church about 40 years ago when I was a teenager, a neighborhood kid going to church, and on Sunday night at Bethel, they would call out the hymn numbers. And I don't know what page number this one was, but you can't have a Baptist church without singing this song right here. And we're not a Baptist church. We're a non-denominational church, but we got a lot of Baptists. And we did eat chicken today for lunch, so we, we ought to qualify. So let's sing it out. I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning of his precious blood atoning. Then I repented of my sin and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing blood. I heard about his healing. Let me hear you. How we do. Everybody sing it out. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory. 
beneath the cleansing flood I heard about a mansion Oh, you're sounding good And some sweet day, the song of victory. Come on, let's sing it. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the one more time. Sing it out. Holy oh, in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. Plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing blood. Come on, give the Lord a good praise on Sunday night. Well, somebody say amen. Boy, y'all are sounding good tonight. You must have got a good Sunday afternoon nap, I'm telling you. You sound great tonight. Praise the Lord. We're going to sing one more congregational, and so if you're able to remain standing, uh, please do so. And while we sing this one, uh, they're going to uh, pass amongst you for the church offering. If you've never been with us before, we receive two offerings because this is a regular service for us. So there'll be a church offering for our tithes and offerings that we'll receive now. And while we're singing this third song, they'll pass amongst you. And then later in the service, however the Lord should lead, we will be receiving a special offering for the His songs. And I know you're going to want to bless them when that time comes. So please be prepared for the His songs offering later in the service. But right now, if you're part of our church and you brought your tithe, this will be the time to give it. Or if you're giving an offering to stay here in the local church, this will be the time. Sister Bailey always likes me to mention on Sunday nights that if our friends will just put something in the church offering, it doesn't have to be much, but if you'll put something in there, it sure will help us to defray our overhead for the Sunday nights that we have. I hope you appreciate us bringing all these groups to our community on Sunday nights and having these programs, opening our doors. I know you do. Well, ushers, you can come. Father, bless every tithe payer and gift giver tonight in Jesus' name. And everybody said, let's sing one more while they pass amongst you. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over. the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore we shall sing on that beautiful shore the melodious songs of the blessed and our spirit shall sorrow no more not a sigh for the blessing of rest in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that In the sweet by and by, we shall be 
on that beautiful shore to our bountiful Father above. We will offer our tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love and the blessings that hallow our day. Sing it out. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful One more time, everybody sing it out. In the Sounds so good. In the sweet by and by, we shall be on that beautiful soul. Can you say amen? You may be seated tonight. We are so glad you came. You sound wonderful tonight. I couldn't help but, uh, but think about one of my former ministers uh, uh, that she served uh, with our youth and our young people, gave me six years of her life, and a precious, precious woman, her and her husband. And, um, but she didn't like Southern-style gospel music. She wasn't disrespectful. It just wasn't her preference. And, Whenever we'd sing it, I could just tell she checked out a little bit. We'd sing a heaven song. She'd check out. You know, she was respectful, but, but it just wasn't her cup of tea. She, she liked the wall songs and, uh, and so forth. So, um, and that was all right. Uh, but but her, her mother died unexpectedly, quickly, got sick and left this world uh, before they really had an opportunity to, to be prepared for it. And I didn't do it on purpose. I really didn't. It was a Sunday morning after Bonnie had left. That was her mama's name after she had passed away. And uh, Sue would always sit on the front row where Dr. Martin is. She, that's where she would be and all the young people would be behind her. And it was a Sunday morning and I just, I don't know, you know, our Sunday mornings, I'll walk up, I'm the old guy. I'll sing something that, that'll bring everybody together, well, uh, typically, so a, an older song. So I just walked up and started singing one of those songs in the sweet by and by, We Shall Meet. And I looked over there at Sue, and she wasn't checked out anymore. But she had big old crocodile tears running down her cheek because that song had suddenly become real to her. And here's, here's the truth, and you all know it, and I know it too. I can tell by looking. We've lived long enough to have to go to too many funerals and too many cemeteries. And we can sing that song, not just as a song of, of just words, but a song of the heart that in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. How many has got loved ones that have already went and you're, you, you can't wait to see them again in heaven? So uh, anyway, you didn't have to hear all of that, but I wanted to tell you. So we welcome you tonight. If it's your first time with us, you picked a great night to come this evening. The His Songs are a wonderful group, and I always like to know where my guests are. I promise not to embarrass you or single you out, but would you just wave at me if you've never been to Happy Gospel at all? Just give me the undercover wave. That's all I'm going to ask you to do. I won't ask you to speak. There's several of you. Could we welcome our first-time guests tonight? We're so honored to have you. And every Sunday night, I like to tell my friends that uh, if you do have a home church, and we know most of our guests do on Sunday nights, you're just here for the concert, we get that. So if you do have a home church, we encourage you to be faithful where the Lord's called you, support your pastor, pay your tithes, and serve God wherever you are connected and planted. And then when you can get away on a night like tonight and come see us, we would love to see you. And then I wouldn't be a good pastor if I didn't mention, if you don't have a church home, we have three services a week, and we'd love to have you come and worship with us Sunday mornings at 10, Sunday nights at 6, and Wednesday nights at 7. 
I preach most Sunday mornings and Wednesday nights. It'll be a wonderful experience. You'll find a church family that'll love you. And whether you're here just uh, seasonally or year-round, you would be more than welcome. But thank you for coming tonight. And it's, it's so glad. Dave Bussinger, I'm so glad to see you tonight. Wonderful man of God. Many of you know Dave is senior ministry. Give Dave a hand. We're glad you're here, brother. Been praying for you. And when I pulled in tonight, I saw the bus from Indian Rocks. Where's my Indian Rocks people tonight? Look at you. Welcome, my friends, from Indian Rocks tonight. Give them a big hand, would you? We're glad to have you. Is Bill Kelshaw here tonight? There he is. There he is. I didn't know if you'd backslid or not, so, so not this time. Thanks for bringing your group, Bill. We so appreciate it. I tease Bill. I call him Pastor Bill. He said, I'm not a pastor. I said, you know what? You really are. You're a shepherd uh, to all of these people. You are blessed to have that man in your life and the leader of your group. So thanks for coming. So those of you that are watching us online tonight, thank you for tuning in. And as you heard me say earlier, uh, later in the service, we will be receiving a special offering for our friends, the His Songs. Uh, we'll do that later, but you don't have to wait till later. Throughout tonight's service, you're going to see at the bottom of that screen, it's there now, the link to give, happygospelchurch.com slash give. And when you go there and click on the donate button, you're going to see the His song special offering there and at any point during tonight's live stream you can go there and give your love offering and we will add it to the his songs offering here in person tonight it'll be just like you're putting it in the bucket but you can do it right there from the convenience of your home and again you don't have to wait till later the entire live stream offerings tonight will go to the his songs as part of their honorarium so thank you for doing it and if you want to go ahead and do it now, uh, by all means, please do so. We appreciate your generosity. Well, I always love this family. They love Jesus. They're wonderful people of God. You know that. That's why you came. And it's pretty cool to hear southern gospel music sung by Yankees. <laughs> they come all the way from the great state of Maine. These are wonderful folks. They play the, the horn so well. They sing so well. And uh, tonight, we are in for a treat and a blessing. Would you help me welcome our friends, the His Songs. It is great to be back here at Happy Gospel. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're looking forward to worshiping our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, together. Here we go.
that he has done. I will praise his name from the mountains and the valleys, for the Lord has been so good to me. I will praise the Lord for the things that he has given. I will worship him for the things that he has done. I will raise his name from the mountains and the valleys, for the Lord has been so good to me. No matter what may come my way, the Lord is right beside me. When troubles come and I am down, he's always there for me. The strength he gives me day by day helps me to climb each mountain from morning till the set of sun. I will praise the Lord for the things that he has given. I will worship him for the things that he has done. I will praise his name from the mountains and the valleys. For the Lord has been so good to me. In the morning when I wake, I see the day before me. I know that he will be with me as I go on my way. Whatever Satan brings my way, with Jesus I can make it. And in my victories every day, I'll give him a praise. I will praise the Lord for the things that he has given. I will worship him for the things that he has done. I will raise his name from the mountains and the valleys for the Lord. So good to me. I will praise the Lord for the things that He.
if someone had grace enough to pardon where you've been? What if there was a way to be set free from all your sin? What if there was a peace and it could calm the storm within? You don't have to ask what if, cause there already is. There is, there is, hope for a new tomorrow. There is, there is, a brighter day ahead. A place where every soul's restored and life begins again. Let me testify and reassure you that there is. Sometimes we often find ourselves searching for some proof. And we tend to question everything the Lord can do But if we take Him at His word, we'll find His word is true a better and brighter day ahead. Amen? Amen? And we look forward to that brighter and better day that's just ahead. And uh, sometimes the way this old world is going, I think it's going to be sooner than most people think. We are so glad to be back again tonight. And thank you all for coming out. And thanks for those who are watching. And, and we just appreciate you so very, very much. And uh, we're just having a great time together in the Lord. And so I hope that you've come to have a good time and enjoy. And we just want to share what God has placed upon our hearts and upon our lives. We are the His Songs. If you've never met us before, although we had a lot of people come in and we know so many of you. And uh, I don't need to take a long time to introduce our family, but we are the His Songs. We travel full time from coast to coast, doing anywhere from 220 to 250 concerts every single year. But this is one that we really enjoy coming to, so thank you for having us. Right in the middle is my daughter-in-law, Kelly. Kelly, <laughs> Kelly and Richard have been married for 18 years. They have two children, and I know you're going to enjoy Kelly today. I, I really do, I, and I'm sure they're clapping for you because they can't believe you've stayed with them for this long. And... Uh, <laughs> All the way, I can't believe I said that. Anyway, all the way down on your left is my son, Richard. And, uh, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of weak. I mean, you introduce Kelly and whew, they go nuts and you introduce me and I had one person. Thank you, Dave, I appreciate that. <laughs> just, just Sharon. It's good to have a true friend, isn't it? <laughs> and, <laughs> you know... Richard started singing with me when he was 13 years old. Been standing by my side for 28 years. I can't believe it. A week ago yesterday, he turned 41. Can you believe that? Oh, now you don't care a bit. 
That sounded sincere to me. And uh, <laughs> some of us have socks and ties older than that, I guess. My name is Dell, and like I said, we're thrilled to be here. I tell you what, I am such a strong believer in prayer. I do not have a doubt in my mind that God is still a prayer hearing and prayer answering God. And I, I know there's a lot of you out here that need prayer right now, and, and you're going through difficult things and different things. Well, let me just reassure you that God still hears and answers prayer. And we've seen him do that so many times in our ministry, in our lives, and I know you have as well, but don't ever lose faith. I've shared so many times, even in this auditorium, of how it was 15 years ago that Richard and Kelly had their first child, and she was born with those 22 tumors in her heart, masses of brain tumors. They said, first, she'll probably never live, and they said, well, if she does, because of the brain tumors, she'll never be able to walk or talk or be like other children. But people like you begin to pray, and God does still hear and answer prayer. So pray on. Don't ever give up. Maybe this is for you tonight. I know heaven seems silent. You can't count the tears you've cried. Seems your cares go unnoticed. You feel so empty deep inside.
neighbor as well that's watching. But there's some of you that are meeting for the first time. People around this country began to pray. And then we introduce you to our daughter, Michaela. Michaela. Never stop praying. Pray on. Well, this is our daughter, Michaela. My dad talked about her just a few minutes ago. For those of for the first time, let me give you a quick uh, story about Michaela. People around this country began to pray, including a lot of you that are sitting right here tonight. Those 22 tumors began to shrink, and over the last several years, all 22 tumors in her heart now are all completely gone, completely gone. Only God could do that. Then, about a year and a half ago, we had another MRI scheduled, and after the MRI was over, and some of you just heard the story, but let me say this. So had another MRI scheduled, and, and the neurologist said, hey, listen, I want to do, after the MRI, we want to do a Zoom call with you to show, show you her brain. So I said, okay. So we waited, and, and he popped up on the screen. And he said, before you say anything, I want to show you her brain. And all of a sudden, her brain popped up, whew, just like that. It didn't go, whew. Your eyes lit up. That's for effect of the story. And... And I knew immediately, Bill, that she took after me because it was a large brain. And <laughs> waiting till this side gets it. And he started circling areas of her brain. And he said, these are where the tumors used to be. Then he circled a section. He said, you see that? that? That's a tumor. And there's tumors. And there's tumors. About five minutes later, he looked up at us at the screen. He said, I want to tell you, I've studied her since she was three days old. He said, and after this last MRI, I'm here to tell you that I can't find anything wrong with your daughter whatsoever. We believe it's because so many people pray. God still hears. God still answers prayer. There's nothing that our God cannot do. Can so no matter what is going on in your life right now, never stop praying. I had a cousin come up to me just recently. She's probably watching, so i got to be careful. She said, are you going to keep telling the story about Michaela everywhere you go? And I said, you know what? This world is spinning out of control. And people need to see with their own eyes that God can still heal and that God can still answer prayer. So thank you to this church. Thank you to our friends that drove in for praying for our family, for Michaela. But I want to say this, because we know a lot of your stories. We know a lot, a lot of what's going on in your lives and you know what's going on with our lives. Sometimes when we pray, sometimes God says yes. That's his answer, isn't it? And that's what we do with Michaela. And, and we're so excited at what God can do. But sometimes when we go through things, sometimes God answers differently, doesn't he? Sometimes God says no. And we don't understand why, and it hurts sometimes. And sometimes God says wait. No matter how God answers, remember this. He loves each and every single one of us so much. And keep praying. So pray on. Well, that's the story about our daughter. You know, as soon as you come through the door, we just feel like we're part of your family. I hope you know that. And, in fact, uh, when we were going live and uh, people were already Facebooking me, asking me for uh, different songs for us to sing, we sang a couple for you tonight already. And those that we have not gotten to, you can always buy it on our, on our, our website and um, can listen to it over and over. But uh, you, you are like family, so you, you've met uh, our daughter, Michaela. And I'd be, re be remiss. Hey, buddy, come on down here just very, very quickly is our son, Richard. He never comes up front, but I want everyone to see him because he's such an integral part. This is our son, Richard. And uh, in January, he turned 12 years old. By the time you get down here, we've done the concert, man. So this is our son, and uh, his name is Richard. He never comes up on stage. And uh, he loves video games. He loves sports. And after we got all set up, he and I went out and we played some basketball together, didn't we? And uh, he's getting too tall to play with me now. So, and, uh, but that's our son, Richard. You know, we love family. In Joshua 24, 15, it says this. You know, it doesn't matter what anybody else does. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord.
blast. If we play a lot of trumpet trombone, you're going to know this. I'll fly away. Here we go. Someone asked if we would do this next one. Actually, I was talking to Wesley beforehand. I'm going to talk about your Wesley for a minute. Well, it's Wesley, but it's close. Well, Wesley, Wesley, whatever. You call him the wrong name the whole night. and he's... Just leave me alone, would you? I will, I will. Do I ever interrupt you? You do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, now you And he said some groups do the same songs over and over and over and over. But we were asked to do this one, and so I'm trying to get in some of the songs that you've requested tonight. But we do have some brand new ones that we're going to sing for you, too. But here it is, The Apple Tree. minister had just finished revival services in a huge Midwestern city. He stepped on the train on his way home and found himself seated next to a young man. For nothing better to do, just to kind of pass the time away, he decided to strike up a conversation with him. But when he noticed that he didn't reply and he didn't respond, he said, son, I'm a minister. I'm a preacher. And I'd be so glad to help any way that I can. And through his tears, that young man proceeded to tell him this story. He said, Preacher, two years ago I got so mean at home, why my mom and dad couldn't do anything with me. Why it got so bad that one day I even struck my father with my fist. And it was right then and there that daddy said, Son, you know I hate to do it. And it's going to break your mama's heart but you've got to leave this house. You need to get out of here. Well, preacher, I've wandered all over this country for the last two years. And about three weeks ago, I gave my heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I wrote mom and dad a letter. I told them I was going to be on this old train. I told them 
as coming home. Preacher said, son, that's all well and good, but how do you know you can go home? I mean, how do you even know you'd be welcome home? He said, preacher, our families live beside these railroad tracks in a little old white house all of my life. And out in back of the house, we've got a great big old apple tree. And I wrote mom and dad in that letter that if they could see it in their hearts to forgive me all the hurt and wrong that I'd done to them, if daddy would just take one teeny tiny white rag, tie on the top of that old apple tree, and I'd see it from the window of the train, and that would be the sign to me that everything was all right, that I could come home. Oh, preacher, I want to go home so bad. I miss my mom and dad, and I'm so sorry for the way I treated them. Preacher, would you mind doing me a favor? Would you mind looking out the window for me and telling me what you see? If you see just one teeny tiny white rag in the top of that old apple tree, not knowing what to expect, that old preacher began to wipe the window with his hand, and then he began to peer out. All of a sudden, he got a great big smile on his face. He said, son, everything's going to be all right. I've never seen an apple tree in such full bloom in all of my life. Why, there are tiny white rags tied all over that apple tree. And son, that's not all. Standing out there by the railroad tracks, I see a little old gray-haired man. And I see a little gray-haired woman. And they're standing holding a bed sheet between them. And on that bed sheet it says, Welcome home, son. Come on home. Friends, isn't that just like God? No matter what we've done in our lives, God says, I love you. And I want to forgive you. And with arms wide open, even tonight, he says, Come on home. Welcome home. I don't have a doubt in my mind that there are many people in this world that wish that we'd lock the doors of the church and it would never be open again. I believe there's a lot of people like that. I'm glad so many people are here tonight. I really am. I think there's a lot of people in this world that would rather that we never read from the Word of God again. And certainly there are many in this world that want to tell you there is no God. But friend, there is a God. He's alive and he's well tonight. And last week we celebrated Easter and we serve a risen Savior. I mean, how wonderful is that? And no matter what the world wants to think, friends, we still believe. We believe in that old rugged cross. We believe in the power of Jesus. I think you do as well. There is a truth that never changes, but it sure changes lives. It's been proclaimed down through the ages and stood the test of time. It's the rock on which our faith stands. We will declare it again. We still believe in the power of Jesus. We still believe in the old rugged cross. He conquered death and he reigns victorious. That's why we sing, oh, we still Make the broken whole We can be sure And we can be certain Of the hope we know It's the rock on which our faith stands We will declare it again We still believe in the power of Jesus still believe in the old rugged cross. He conquers death and he reigns victorious. That's why we 
he's coming down, I want to say this. You are blessed to have this man here in Bradenton, Florida. We love him dearly. He's a great uh, friend, a great promoter, but even better pastor. So would you thank, watch out. Oh, sorry. I thought he was tripping. (laughs) Are you leaving? I'm done saying nice things about you. I ran out of things to say. But aren't you glad to have Pastor Bill Bailey here in Bradenton, Florida? Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Did you enjoy the His song so far tonight? Come on. Great job. And the people love the horns. They love to hear y'all blow those horns, although Richard doesn't have as much hot air as he used to. (laughs) How much weight have you lost, brother? Uh, 51 pounds. You're looking good, man. 51 pounds. My hero. Well, listen, uh, let's take a generous love offering tonight for their family as uh, they shared with you. They're a full-time ministry, and uh, uh, everything we give tonight uh, will go to them. Nothing will be taken out for any other reason. And uh, uh, I would, uh, I tell you what, we, we all, Sally and I are putting at least $20 in the offering tonight, and most of us could do that tonight. Most of us could do that. If we average $10 from everybody in the offering tonight, 20 for a couple, we would take a, give a generous love offering to the uh, His songs tonight. So could I encourage you to do that? You can't even go to McDonald's anymore for $10. I went to, uh, as most of you know, Sally and I, we uh, parent a set of twin, uh, twins. Our girls are 14. They're still in the house with us. We got them when they were six months old and kind of a foster type situation, although not legally, but we've had them, we've raised them, and we'll continue to raise them into adulthood. And um, so we were coming home. One of the girls, Ariana's playing flag football at her high school. They're freshmen. And so uh, we were bringing her home, had to run her through McDonald's to get something to eat after uh, one of her games. And uh, she said, I just want a chicken nugget meal. And I thought, well, praise God, this is going to be cheap. Little did I know. I mean, I haven't uh, been eating at McDonald's in a long time. I didn't realize. And, uh, man, I got rid of 20 bucks in a hurry uh, just, just on her. And so uh, you can't go anywhere. Now the cheap meal at Cracker Barrel is $12 uh, plus Plus your beverage and uh, all the extras in your tax and gratuity and everything. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. You know that. So let's give generously tonight and bless their family and uh, take good care of them. If you want to write a check, make it out to Happy Gospel because we will write one check to the His Songs and you can give in confidence that everything you give will go to them. We will not go fishing in your offering uh, for something else. Everything will go to them. It's just their preference that we write one check. And when you make it out to the church, it's tax deductible as well if that's important to you. Uh, Likewise, tonight, if you want to use your charge card or debit card during the offering or at the end of the service, there'll be an attendant at the kiosk out in the lobby. If you want to just uh, uh, graciously, gracefully uh, walk out there, there'll be someone to meet you, and they'll be glad to serve you if you want to use your charge card for your your giving tonight. And so, uh, but thank you for doing your part. Now, let me talk to all of my friends that are watching online tonight. 
Uh, there's nearly 500 of you that are viewing tonight's live stream between our Facebook and YouTube portals tonight. Thank you for tuning in. And as I tell you every week, I, I can't send an usher to your house with a bucket and stand in front of you. The way we do it is by that link that you've been seeing at the bottom of the screen periodically. And many of you have already given tonight, but a lot of you and most of you have not. Would you consider right now, while we pass the buckets here in person, would you give your love offering right now? Do it now while you're thinking about it so you don't procrastinate and forget about it later. You'll get busy, and then you'll think of it later in the week and say, I, I meant to give that offering. Do it now while it's on your heart. And uh, maybe you could give $20 or $50. Maybe some of you might give more, $100 or so. Whatever the Lord lays on your heart, it'll pick up the slack for others who may not be as fortunate. And when you give online at happygospelchurch.com slash give, you'll click that donate button that'll come up and you'll see the His Song special offering. And we'll make sure that everything you give will go to them. Nothing will be taken out for any reason. So thank you for doing it right now. And God bless you again for your generosity. Ushers, will you come and let's pray and they'll wait upon you for your giving and it'll also give you an opportunity watching online to give as well. Heavenly Father, thank you tonight for this beautiful crowd on the Sunday night uh, after Easter. God, we are blessed by the His songs. They touched our hearts and God, as we give, we give as unto the Lord and I pray this offering will be more than enough, God to make a difference in the lives of his songs and their ministry. And for that, we'll be careful to give you all the praise in Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. amen. God bless you as you give. Come on, gentlemen. Hey, before we do that, let me say this. You know, Dad, uh, I've noticed this with this crowd. When, when you picked up the trumpet earlier, man, their eyes lit up. They sat up a little straighter. They, they enjoyed the trumpet. But, man, when I picked up the trombone, That was a delayed reaction because they're giving in the offering. But, man, they st all four of them enjoyed the, the trombone. So just for them, I, thank you. Thank you, sir, for clapping. He's 20 minutes late. So I want to play a song just for them. But also, I, man, there's not many people as good as Justin in the, in the world. And so I wanted to bring him up and play the piano because this, this is what they wanted. And, and they wanted the, mostly the trombone. But here we go. When the saints go marching in. Here we go. How about it for Richard? How about it for Pastor Justin? I felt like I was in New Orleans. Hey, uh, we still have a few special Sunday night events. I know we're in April and uh, we're at the time of the year when many of our snowbird friends are headed home. Every week right now we have people going, we'll see you next fall or see you next winter. 
but uh, we still have a few Sunday nights yet to go. Next Sunday night, Jim and Melissa Brady will be with us. I call them the sweethearts of gospel music. And they are just beautiful and wonderful. You will not want to miss them next Sunday night. Many of you see them as part of Gerald Wolfe's Gospel Music Hymn Sing. And, of course, you remember uh, Jim uh, sang with the Booth Brothers and still does, actually, as he's went back with them on selected dates. So they will be here next Sunday night, so plan on joining us. Then on April the 21st, uh, Jason Stidham will be with us for a Revival Sunday. He'll be preaching in both services, Sunday morning and Sunday night. It will be a Revival service on that Sunday night. Many of you may have seen Jason. He's like me and ministers regularly with the Swaggards on the Sun Life Broadcasting Network. So you might have seen him on television. We were just together last week at Easter camp meeting, and we're excited to have Jason here, wonderful Assembly of God evangelist. And then at the end of the month, our, our last uh, Sunday night concert for this season, the Griffith family will be with us. So uh, they'll, they'll be here on that final Sunday night of April. So every Sunday night, uh, until the end of the month to make your plans and come back and be with us. But it's been a wonderful night tonight, hasn't it? Have you enjoyed yourself? <laughs> One last announcement. Uh, next week, a week from tomorrow, um, I will leave on my spring bus tour to Myrtle Beach uh, for the Singing in the Sun. We're there. It's four nights, five-day bus tour. We go to Savannah for the first night and then on to Myrtle Beach. All your favorite gospel singers are on that tour uh, with us uh, while we're in Myrtle Beach. Dr. David Jeremiah will be preaching as well on uh, at the Singing in the Sun while we're there. You'll get to see him and uh, just a bunch of wonderful groups. We eat at Paula Dean's original restaurant called The Lady and the Sons in downtown Savannah. That's where it all started. We also eat in Myrtle Beach at uh, the original Benjamin's Calabash Seafood Buffet where you can eat all the crab legs you want, or if you're a, a land lover, all the steak you want. But it's a wonderful place. We go there as well. This year, we're staying at the Sheraton Hotel, which is connected to the convention center. So it's very easy. If uh, you're uh, mobile challenged, uh, you're literally staying right where the concerts are being held. And then if you like to go to the beach, you're only a few blocks away. It's an easy walk for you if you want to go to the beach. So, And there is a Krispy Kreme within walking distance of the hotel. Yes. So we'd love to have you join us. There's still a few seats available on the bus. If you're interested, come by the kiosk in the lobby. I know it's only eight days away, but if you're like my dad, my dad would just pick up and go. If he took a liking to want to do something, it didn't matter. He'd go tonight. And so if you're one of those kind of people, you don't need a lot of planning. You're like, we're not doing anything next week. Let's go. It leaves a week from Monday on April uh, the 15th, and listen, that's tax day. You'll need something good, okay, that day, all right? And we'd love to have you go. Well, listen, the His songs have blessed us. They're not nearly done yet. Uh, Richard, these people gave a generous offering. I know you're going to give them a generous program. So one more time, let's let the His songs know we've enjoyed them. Sounds like you like to eat a lot of food, what he just had to say. There was a time when I was blind, spiritually speaking, but I'm glad tonight I can see. There was a blind man in a distant land Who did not understand God's saving plan Till Jesus saw him, had mercy on him Told him to wash and his eyes would open When he washed the clay away, his night was turned to day Then he heard a scoffer say, you can't be healed this way Could you explain to us, who is this Jesus? Is he the least of us? What can you tell us? And this is what he said Stand, I still will stand on this promise I've received, and I don't need to know how you made me whole, though I was blind, but now I see. I was a blind man in a distant land, I did 
did not understand God's saving plan Till Jesus found me Put his arms around me Said he'd gone to Calvary Just to prove he loved me Well, he washed my sins away My night was turned to day Then I heard a scoffer say You can't be saved this way Could you explain and tell How you were spared from hell And how that all is well Sounds like a fairy tale So this is what I say Stand, I still will stand on this promise I received, and I don't need to know how He made me whole. Though I was blind, but now I see. Though I don't understand, I still will stand on this promise I received, and I don't need to know. You still love the old hymns? Can we do one together right now? I still love the old hymns. You know, my mom and dad are both still living. Uh, they're 98 and 99 years old. They have been married for 77 years, getting ready to celebrate their 78th pretty soon. And uh, they still like it when we sing old hymns, and, and I still love it. And they can tell you that though they know they know where they're at in age and in life, but they can still say, it is well with my soul. Let's sing it together.
And Lord, haste the day when my faith shall be sight. Oh, the clouds be rolled back as a scroll. Oh, the trump shall raise out. Oh, and the Lord he shall descend and even so it is well with my soul. certainly tell you've got that same love down deep in your heart as well. 
Some of you, thank you so very much. Some of you have asked about my wife and how she's doing. And some of you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. But my wife and I next month will be married for 48 years. About, th thank you. And she same, started. Same guy, just one guy, he's happy about everything. <laughs> he came to the concert wearing the wrong group's T-shirt, but whatever. Thanks, I already sir. Talk, I talked to him about that already. And... <laughs> The people watching have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> About three or four years ago, my wife Susan uh, was diagnosed with cancer. And so she had surgery and radiation. And we certainly thought that was all behind us. But six months ago, she was diagnosed with cancer again. And so she's been through more surgery and more radiation. And now she's on like a chemo pill or something. But anyways, she's just very worn out and tired all the time. And I'm just letting her rest. And she's needed that rest and healing. So thank you for those who've asked. Thank you for those who pray. And uh, for those who didn't know, pray for Susan. She really could use that. You know, this song is an old song. You're all going to know it. But especially during this time, it's been one that has been really important to me and helped me day by day, even to get through some of the things that we've been going through. It will you as well. I've had many tears and sorrows. I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times didn't know right from wrong but in every situation God gave blessed consolation that my trials come to only make me strong
I'm also very aware that there are a lot of people that are hurting all the time. And through it all, we can learn how much God loves us because God loves you so very, very much. Even in the situation, whatever it might be, that you're in tonight. You know, that's something that we've come to realize recently more than ever, I guess. In church, there's a lot of pretenders, and by that I mean no matter how deeply you're hurting inside, if somebody were to ask you, how are you doing, more than likely you're going to say, I'm doing okay. I'm doing fine. Exactly. And that's what we do. And if there's one thing I want to do in this new year of 2024 is to see behind the smile and see when there are hurting people and be able to reach out and meet their needs. I trust that's what all of us want to do. We know of a singing group, they do much like we do, and she wants to have a baby in the worst way. And every month when she realizes she's not pregnant, there's a lot of tears. Now, she might get up on this platform and smile for you, and if you ask her how she's doing, she's probably going to say, I'm doing great, doing okay. But deep down behind the smile, there's a hurt that we can't even imagine. I know of a man that he had just finished chemotherapy, came home, began working on his house. It burnt to the ground, caught on fire. And it was just a short time after that, he and his wife were out driving. They were hit by a tractor trailer, and she was killed instantly. But if he's in church today, and if you were to ask him how he's doing, he's probably going to say, I'm doing okay. But he's not. So we need to see behind the smile and reach out and minister to those who have needs. People pass beside us holding everything inside. Even in the church sometimes we put on our disguise. I know how it feels to hide the emptiness and pain. It's easier to say, I'm okay. But behind the smile there's a woman who just wants to hold her child. Behind the smile, there's a man who feels he can't go one more mile. Behind the smile, there's a broken world longing for some hope. Lord, open my eyes to see, to see behind the smile. Sometimes we just play the parts like actors on a stage. Speak the lines, go through the steps, performing day by day. But God looks deep inside our hearts. He knows what is true. He knows what we're going Behind the smile, there's a woman who just wants to hold her child. Behind the smile, there's a man who feels he can't go one more mile. Behind the smile, there's a broken world longing for some hope. Lord, open my eyes to see. You see behind the smile Oh, I don't want to miss another chance To be your hands and feet Oh, I don't want to look the other way When there's a need in front of me Behind the smile there's a teenage boy Just trying to fit in Behind the smile, there's a widow needing comfort from a friend. 
Behind the smile is a broken world A longing for some hope Lord, open my eyes to see Lord, open my eyes to see To see behind the smile May we all be very sensitive to people around us and see behind the smile. Let me just mention really quickly our table out there. And uh, we've got a brand new CD this year. It's called Hallelujah. And we sang that behind the smile. I did through it all. Uh, we did, uh, we still believe that we did earlier. The one that Richard went over and played the piano on, there is. That's on here as well. It's a brand new CD called Hallelujah. Now, we've got a lot of other gospel CDs, and on top of the gospel CDs, we have a hymn CD. If you like the hymns like I do, you'll love it. We've also got a Christmas one. Eight and a half months away. you got to be prepared. <laughs> so keep going. They're not prepared for Christmas. <laughs> and if you like the trombone better than the trumpet, we've got a trumpet trombone there we go. CD out there as well. Well, I thought I'd try that anyway. <laughs> so there's the I CDs got one that we person have. Person excited, thank you. <laughs> We've got a couple of shirts, different. Sir, this could be just for you right here. Let me tell you. Which one should he have? We've got a black one. We've got an orchid one. They say, "Pray on." Okay, you heard him. <laughs> and then. For those, I've written, for those watching have no idea, man sits right there in the front, front and center with a different group's T-shirt on. I can't believe it, man. I, <laughs> breaks my heart. And I thought we were friends, really. Don't know if I've ever met him, but I thought we were friends. You've met him. <laughs> <laughs> I've written three books. One is called Michaela's Heart, Moment by Moment, about my granddaughter, the miracle that God gave to her and to us. And then two other books just filled with short stories in them called Joy for the Journey, and uh, then the joy continues. So those books are out there. You can read a story every day, or you can sit down and read the whole book. Some will make you laugh, some will make you cry, but I know that you enjoy those books. And so, See, he's got the books. He wears the wrong Man, shirt, but he's got the books. Don't kiss up now, sir. It's too late. <laughs> he says he owns the books. I've got He's probably lent them to everyone so they don't have to buy them either. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> anyway, the CDs. Stays quiet for the whole time wearing someone else's T-shirt, then just starts talking. <clears throat> I didn't see your picture on the, on, on the sign out there or my name on your shirt either. <laughs> Are you finished? <laughs> I better be. I... If my wife were here tonight, and she's not been with us for six months, she's singing, probably watching. She'd be back there with Richard right now, going, "Shh, be quiet. Shh, be quiet." You, Everybody for, thinks she's, we know a lot of you. Some of you we've known since I was even a teenager. So you think my mom is quiet? And she's probably watching right now. She'd be going, "Shh, Del Richard his song the third. Stop it right now." And it's embarrassing being forty-one years old and having your mom do that. I just, just sharing from my heart to the 500 plus people watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, with the CDs, the shirts, the books, $15 for one, any two for $20. And I am going to do something. I did this at Christmas time. Don't mention of, Christmas. They're not big fans of it, apparently. <laughs> I did this at Christmas time, and I said, I'm not going to do it again, but I'm going to tonight. We're going to triple the price. I thought it was a great idea. I'm going to tell your mother. The guy in the front row loved it. <laughs> I'll let you have any five of those things for just $40. That's a bargain, I promise you. And you know that. So any five for 40 
and we'll do that. And then on top of all those things, we have four different thumb drives or USBs that you can put in those new cars because you don't have CD players in them any longer. And so they all have about 35 to 37 songs on them, and they are $20 each, and they're all back there. We hope that you will take a look at what we have and uh, ask any questions that you want to ask. We're doing some, some different events this year. We'd love to include you, love to be your hosts. Uh, one is at Christmas time. There uh, we go with Christmas again, yeah. It's not me, it's them. I... Some of you have heard me say this, I'm sure, oh, over no. the years. But others of you are looking at me with a puzzled look. <laughs> I just want you to know I did the best job I could when I was raising him, all right? Now you clap back there. Uh, our family and the Downey Boys Quartet are doing a very special Christmas event, and it's a three-day event. It's actually Myrtle Beach. It's right on the beach. All the rooms are overlooking the ocean with a balcony, and uh, it includes two meals a day, great meals. We're going to the Carolina Opry. First night's a gospel concert. The final night's all Christmas music. There's a brochure. We'd love to have you come. We have the greatest time that we really do. And then we've got a cruise brochure out there as well. We'd love to have you come cruising with us next January. February. Or if you February. go in January, you're not coming with us. <laughs> you're swimming in January, but you can cruise <laughs> with us in February. That brochure is out there too. I'm not going to talk any more about things other than come out to our table. We want to greet you anyway. Uh, this is our last. <laughs> They're calling. Ma'am, you just have to push a call. I'll... It's more fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell them we hope they like Christmas better than this group. It's like, <laughs> she hung up, huh? She thought I was, don't turn red, it's okay. I don't know what it was about, but it didn't sound very good. She said to go buy CDs after the one's over. <laughs> and bring her some, too, she said. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I think she hung up when I said, oh, I don't know. She did say she was sorry. We're having a good time. We hope you are. <laughs> That's why no one sits in the front row at our concerts, let me tell you. <laughs> Richard takes pictures with people's cameras. He answers telephones. And there's nothing I can do with him. When he got married, I said, Kelly, I've done the best I could. He's all yours. They've been married 18 years. I don't see any improvement there either. You know, this is the best time for me to say this. We have loved being with you. We love Pastor Bill. And, uh, and, and we, just, we just appreciate you so very, very much. We really do. And we like to laugh. And by the way, the Bible says that laughter is a good medicine. So it's important to laugh, even if it's at hurt expense. If you've been like me, you've certainly been watching all the news and you've been watching what's happening in Israel and you've been watching what's happening in Gaza. <sighs> Don't you think we're seeing our Bibles coming alive before our very eyes? I certainly do. And I don't think when I see what's happening there and when I see what's happening in Russia and Ukraine and I see what's happening in China and I see what's happening in the United States of America, I can't help but believe, and I really do, that it's not going to be long until that trumpet sounds and the King of Kings and Lord of Lords comes again. Friends, the King is coming. We better be watching and waiting. Most important, I trust that you're ready. The marketplace is empty, no more traffic.
traffic in the streets. All the builders' tools are silent. No more time to harvest wheat. Busy housewife sees their labors in the courtroom. No debate. Work on earth is all suspended as the king comes through the gate. I can hear the chariots rumble. I can see the marching throng. The flurry of God's trumpets spells the end of sin and wrong. Regal robes are now unfolding, heaven's grand stands all in place, heaven's choir is now assembled, start to sing amazing grace, oh the King. going to be. Thank you. Have you enjoyed the His songs tonight? Let's let them know it one more time, would you? All the family tonight. What a great job. The His songs. Remain standing with me, if you will. You know, tomorrow, uh, listen, it's an eclipse that's happening. It's not the apocalypse. <laughs> if you listen to some preachers, they think it is. But I will tell you, it's a reminder to us all, the king is coming. We may not even get to the eclipse tomorrow. We're that close to the coming of the Lord. If you're ready, just give the Lord a good wave offering and tell the Lord, I'm ready. That's your testimony. I'm ready, should the Lord return. And if he doesn't, we're going to uh, covenant together to live for God and to be a light in the middle of this dark world in which we're living in. Can you say amen? Is that your prayer? Thank you so much for coming tonight. What a blessing the His songs have been. Before we pray, one more time, let's tell them thank you for a wonderful night tonight of encouragement.
Dave Bussinger, would you come up here? I'm going to ask you to pray and dismiss us tonight. Come on up here so the camera can see you. Well, you look good. I like that purple. You, I like that purple. You look good. You look mighty fine yourself. Well, you can you could just keep talking. Just right. keep talking. Would you pray and ask the Lord to bless us? Thanks for coming. Heavenly Father, we praise you and we thank you for this wonderful evening. Father, we thank you that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And the liberty we have is to worship you and to praise you. We thank you for Pastor Bill. We thank you for this church and the body that meets here. We thank you for the his songs. Now, Father, I ask you to bless every person here from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Be with them as they travel home and help us always to be your ambassadors in this dying world. And we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor honor for it. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, amen. amen. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you for coming. Indian Rocks, y'all buy your, uh, your bus driver an ice cream on the way home, okay? All right, be safe going across the